uh, I was asked, uh, I was asked, what's the title of your your remarks? I, said, I, I, I hadn't, I don't give remarks titles, but after uh, after putting together some remarks, uh, the the title I would give this is profound simplicity. And uh, just just follow me here. A dozen years ago, upon dedicating the Systems Engineering Institute named in his honor at the Naval Postgraduate School. Admiral Wayne Meyer, affectionately referred to as the father of Aegis, summing up his 50 years experience in systems engineering, provided a classic tutorial on the subject, which he titled, Profound Simplicity. He outlined fundamental rules for problem solving. First and foremost, when tackling the large complex problems that we face in naval warfare, be sure to know what the problem is that you're trying to solve. Large problems require large teams. So once the problem is understood, complex problems communicate clearly to the team and ensure that they work together tirelessly on the same problem. Then each must plod daily, determinedly through the myriad of smaller individual detail problems that form the larger problem. There needs to be one threat book that defines the threat that we're designing against. And in defining the threat, the technical requirements of each part of the system, known as cornerstones, those technical parts, they're inviolate. And every engineer on the team must know these cornerstones must not freelance, must support the achievement. And then finally, in dealing with uncertainty, time is your un enemy. And in action, because of any uncertainty, inaction could be deadly. Well, we have a large team, government and industry, represented by many of you here today. And we are working together tirelessly on some large problems, which I'd like to discuss. And for anyone that's looking for quick and easy solutions, well, they only come after plotting daily, determinedly through the myriad of smaller problems, which we're doing. As for the threat book, there are three threats in particular that keep me awake at night. First, the cost or rising costs of providing for our nation's defense. Second, an increasingly technologically capable adversary, potential or otherwise. 